Hello all and welcome to another video on the music theory for beginners. In this video we go over the bass clef staff only. Okay, and the first thing we go over is the fact that there is a little clef right here and it's called the bass clef. It looks like a funky 7 or an F in some other language. And it's got two little dots right around the fourth line of the staff. That is because that is where the note F is. And you could see right here in this little diagram, I already have the note heads named. This is the F note that they're talking about right here. And this is where the two dots go. That tells you that this is also called the F clef. The bass clef is the common name, but F clef is another name. And in, I guess, ancient times or past times, they used to just do F clef for bass clef and G clef for treble. They used to call that. And there's also all these other clefs that we're going to get into later um, that are less common and are not actually commonly used today. But for the sake of simplicity now, this is called the bass clef. And this is how you write it. You kind of go dot at the front, swirl around like a half circle, and then you put the two dots around the fourth line of the staff. That makes this the F clef or the bass clef. So I'm going to keep this little document in the resources section just so you know because as you can see it has all the notes outlined for you, the bottom most note G, next one A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and this right here is middle C. And then I take middle C and go all the way back down. But I don't just stop at the G, I go all the way down because there are what are called ledger lines, which we'll get into that in uh, two lectures from now. And what we'll do is we'll discuss what is below the first line G, and that is F, E, D, and C. And you'll notice that the musical alphabet keeps repeating over and over and over, and that's why part of the reason why there are ledger lines, just to keep going, because in piano music there's 88 keys, so you'd have to go over all the clef and all the range of the piano, which is in total eight octaves. But for this, you just need to know that this is the G that it starts on, it goes up to middle C, goes back down to the G and goes a little bit past it. But that's where this is, and I will keep this in the resources section. Also, there is a worksheet that I want to give you um, that I am in the current process of making for the course that I will put in the assignment section. So the assignment for this is number one, take a sheet of staff paper if you have some around and start practicing drawing the bass clef. Just like you would practice drawing the treble clef, practice drawing the bass clef. So practice drawing that clef and practice it until you get it. And then assignment number two is to take this in the resource section and go over it and actually practice writing out the notes so that you get them in your head, both tactile and by hearing me talk about them. Okay? So, if you have any questions, hit me up in the Q&A section, and until then, I'll see you in the next video.